Welcome back, writers. Mrs. Matter is here today to teach you our second writing workshop mini lesson. You're going to watch my whole video and then you're going to go off and try that on your own. After the video, you will need your writing book. It might be purple or red or yellow. Your name can already be on there. It's yours. You will need a pencil to write your name and you will need some type of drawing or coloring items like crayons or markers. So, last time we talked about thinking of a true story that happened to you. It needs to be about you right now. These stories are going to be true things that happened to you. Those are the stories that we're going to be writing right now. And our unit is called, My Picture Can Tell the Story. So we're really gonna be making our pictures tell the story because we don't know how to write a lot of letters and words and sounds yet. If you do know how to write some words, that's great. And you can go ahead and add those to your story. But right now, we're really thinking of a true story that happened in our lives and then we're going to draw that on one page in our writing book right now. So last time we learned to think about it and think of a great story that happened to you and I'm going to model that right now. I'm thinking about my life. Anything in my life can be a story. Playing games can be a story. Watching a movie can be a story. Going on a bike ride is a story. Breakfast can be a story. Reading on your couch can be a story. So I am going to think about a story that really happens to me like every single day. I take care of my pet. I take care of my pet rabbit. So I'm going to do that as a story today. So I'm going to model working in my writing book. Now right now when you're looking at it, it's a little bit upside down and I'm gonna turn it so that you'll be able to see it in a minute. The first thing I always do is open up my book and I put my name on the top. Now right now I know this is a little bit sideways for you guys. So I write my name with a pencil and then I put my pencil aside for now. Now I need to think of the most important parts that were in that true story that happened to me. My pet is a rabbit. And so of course I need to have my rabbit in my story. You're gonna take your time and draw really well. You're gonna slow down and draw really well. I'm just gonna draw a little bit speedy to kind of show you how to do this. So here's Mrs. Matter. I'm down stairs and I'm gonna be giving some treats and things to my rabbit. I'm just gonna do this a little bit speedy so you can see what's happening. She had jumped up on a little cushion there. So here's how my story is coming so far. Mrs. Matter has to be in the story. It's a true story about me. My rabbit has to be in my story because I was taking care of her. She has a little dish where we keep water. She eats a lot of hay, so we have to bundle up a bunch of hay for her. And she actually goes to the bathroom in a little box. So we have our little box there for her. And she has some toys that she likes to play with. She likes to nibble on little cardboard rolls. She nibbles on those. Here's her food. So I can keep going and add more to my picture. But I want to model something a little bit different for you today. Today we're going to talk about a strategy called touch and talk touch and talk. What that means is touch parts of your picture and talk about it like a story or like a book. Touch and talk. So after you wrote your name, after you drew your story that really happened to you, 
you get your strong finger and touch parts of your story and talk about it like a book. Listen and watch as I touch and talk. Here I am down in my basement. I'm going to give a carrot to my rabbit named Midnight. She was hopped up standing on a little cushion. Sometimes she drinks her water and she eats her hay and she goes to the bathroom in a little box and she likes to nibble on cardboard rolls. I love her. Did you notice how I touched my finger across different parts of my story? And then I could talk about it like a book. It sounded like a real story in a real book. That's our writing strategy for today. Touch and talk. Touch and talk. So you'll think of a story that happened to you. You'll draw it beautifully with your name, of course. And then you will touch and talk across your page. You can touch and talk to your mom or dad, your babysitter, someone working at Boys and Girls Club. If there's not a grown-up or a big brother or sister, you could tell your story to a stuffed animal. Come on over here, little puppy, and let me tell you my story. You could even read it to a pet. Everybody say, touch, talk. Good. Before you go, start thinking about what story you might illustrate today. Did you think of one yet? Remember, when you're done drawing your story that happened to you, touch, talk. Off you go, writers.